we fully embrace the genre of rom-com. We have references to Pretty Woman, to Bodyguard. We have people running through airports and holding up signs. And we were not afraid of that. We wanted to say this is a genre we love. It's an enduring genre that's been around, you know, since Charlie Chaplin through the musicals of the Busby Berkeley era. And um, what I think we bring that's new is a, is a whole other layer of a, a woman who is finding her voice as an artist. And so it's not just about the romance, but it's also about, um, you know, somebody finding themselves. First, I start with an amazing costume designer, Caroline Duncan, who has such a sense of story. And you can watch the progression of the costumes match the emotional arc of the characters. She collaborated a lot with Rob Zangardi, who is um, Jennifer's stylist, who also does the concerts. Um, and so it was really, you know, and obviously I, it goes without saying that Jennifer has such a sense of style. So it was really a collaboration. And, you know, sometimes I would come in to say visual it would be better if we had a silver instead of a black, but really I just let those guys do their thing because they're geniuses. The music was such a process. Um, you know, obviously Benny and Jennifer had a huge hand in it. Mike Knobloch and Rachel Levy from Universal are two of my heroes. They would send us literally hundreds of songs. Um, you know, songs that were written for the script and we would sort through them. And one of the most gratifying parts of the process was that we would all listen to these hundreds of songs and all pick, oh, that's the one, on my way, without question. Um, and then some of them come from Jennifer's back catalog of things that hadn't been released, like Church was a song that already existed.